York City. It's the Wendy Williams Show. phone has slipped down to my booty. It's okay now. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topic. about Kevin Hart, we haven't talked about him much, but he's speaking out for himself for the very first time. You know, he had that horrible car crash where his car careened off of the Mulholland Boulevard or whatever it's called in, in LA, high LA, and um, it careened down into an embankment like a pit. He could be dead. He was with a male friend of his and a female friend of his, and the three of them, it was like after midnight, it was horrible, you know the story. So last night he posted a really interesting video of him doing recovery. He's learning how to do everything else, I guess, again. And um, some of it he's doing in his palatial mansion, right there, gorgeous. But point is, health is better than wealth. And, and Kevin talked about how the accident has really changed him, made him a different person. Take a look. But after my accident, I see things differently. I see life from a whole new perspective. My appreciation for life is, is through the roof. I'm thankful for my family, my friends. I'm thankful for the people that simply ride with me and have been with me because you stood by me. My fans. On a side note, am I the only one checking out his package? <laughs> I mean, the gold suit is making everything pretty pronounced. Kevin, you know, I wish him well. I like Kevin Hart. His doctors are saying that he will um, be recovered, but it'll take about a year. So he's going through this. And um, we're with you, Kev. We're with you. So now, um, happy birthday. I see you. Uh-huh. The king. <laughs> you go. <laughs> um, all right, so here's my thing. And I love Will and Grace. Will and Grace to me rings in my heart like Seinfeld and Sex in the City. And Friends, like three comfortable, at good times. Three comfortable shows, <laughs> I can turn them on. I know the dialogue, they're just there while I'm busy. But like Friends in the House without talking back at you, right? So the cast of Will and Grace are apparently at war. I don't like to see this. Like I don't wanna know that Elaine doesn't get along with Jerry. And I don't want to know that, 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 that Grace doesn't get along with uh, Karen. Well, apparently this is what's going on. Okay. <laughs> it has become so bad, Megan Mullally is her real name. Remember, remember when she used to have a talk show? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, girl. And remember when she was the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter? Do you remember that? that? That was a good one. I had that last night on a baked potato filled with collard greens and sour cream and, the, and I can't believe it's not butter. 
And I eat my baked potato, including the skin. Clap if you eat the skin. <laughs> and I had a friend over, right? So I had, excuse me. So I had a friend over, I was entertaining, and uh, I made two baked potatoes. So he, didn't, he doesn't eat the skin, he only guts it out. I pulled his skin right on over <laughs> after mine. And look, look, heated it back up with the collard greens inside, put a little cheese in that, some I can't believe it's not, and some sour cream. It was two meals in one. <laughs> So anyway, the feud between Megan Mullally and um, uh, Deborah Messing is apparently so bad that Megan took a leave of absence from Will and Grace. <gasps> now see, now you're offending me. Like don't get, like you're offending my programming. I, I'm there for Will and Grace. <laughs> I, I supported you guys from the first episode when the guy who plays Jack posed as straight in real life only to deceive us and come out as gay in real life once it was all done. I was like, honey, who'd you think you were fooling all along? <laughs> okay, nobody acts that good. <laughs> Anywho, I love the show. I just, here's my thing, Will and Grace. Do you understand as a super fan, a super fan, not just a fan, that I could do this show without both of you? All I need is Karen, Jack, and the maid. <laughs> now that's a show. Now, you, you know what I'm saying? Norman, we talked about this. Yep. <laughs> right. What is the show without Jack? Just Jack is the best. <laughs> and what is the show without Karen? Nothing. And the housekeeper. And the housekeeper, Rosario, who is not on it anymore. Oh. But. I mean, I know. I right. mean, I, I mourn her loss, uh -huh. but okay, Jack Still. and Karen. Right. Now, I don't know what's going on. This summer, Deborah and Megan unfollowed each other on Instagram, which is so childish. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they did that. They unfollowed, Megan posted, one of the best feelings is finally losing your attachment to someone who isn't good for you. Oh. How high school are we? <laughs> Deborah Messing looks great though, right? In the, yeah, yeah, all that hair. I think that um, somebody from upper management should have like stepped in, only that doesn't really work with grown adult people. That usually works with, you know, the kids on shows and stuff like that. I don't know, I, so this is me stepping in, saying, you all, you better get this together, all right? Cause as a super fan, I am very disappointed to know. Like, I don't like that Samantha doesn't like Carrie. I don't even like that from uh, Sex in the City. What are you wearing, your bed sheet? <laughs> no, it's fabulous. It got, uh, look, 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 you look, you look terrific. Look, look, you got the hair. Yes. <laughs> oh! Yes, yes. <laughs> How you doing? But do you understand, like, like, I buy into my shows so much that I don't wanna know that, like, Suzanne and I don't get along uh -huh. behind the scenes. Exactly. Or Samantha doesn't get along mm -hmm. with Carrie. Or Will doesn't get along with Grace, who right. doesn't get along with Karen. Like, I don't wanna know that. Keep that to yourselves and let us live in our fantasy world. This is what TV is for. We fantasize. Anywho. Will and Grace, everyone, for your uh, watching entertainment airs Thursday night at 9.30 on NBC. Let's watch. Right. He double stuck this down, because I was like, okay, all show, I'm gonna be pulling this off, it's supposed to be off the shoulder, I'm fidgeting with my clothes, I'm trying to talk, I'm thinking about stuff I have to do later. By the way, right, <laughs> so, so, I got so tired after the potatoes and the collard greens and the sour cream and the I can't believe, right? So, so I'm alone and it's just me and the cats. All right, we had a guest, but just saying. Um, and, so, and so look, so I put everything on the counter because when you don't have pets, you're used to putting stuff on the counter and then that, that's it, right? 
I put everything on the counter and I'm like, I'm going to bed. I was all lethargic. I come back downstairs like a half hour later because I forgot to bring water. I like to sleep with water right there on my night table in case I start coughing or something or choking in the middle, middle of the night. <laughs> I went down for the water and chit chat and my way are throwing down, <laughs> all the way down on the little scraps that I left on the plate. They are throwing, they don't even, I look at them, I say, what are you girls doing? And they, oh, oh. Look, look, so they are throwing down on the collard greens and baked potato and the butter. And before you cat people tell me, oh, cats aren't supposed to eat this, cats aren't supposed to, my cats eat everything, including Jolly Ranchers and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. <laughs> Leave me alone. And by the way, I leave the TV on, one of the TVs for them to watch. So, hi girls, hi, I'll be home. And I'm, yeah, yeah, they watch, they, they pay attention. So, and they also like the Lester Holt. They, uh-huh, oh, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Mommy, can you get with him? No girls, he's married. So? No girls, we don't do that. Anyway, Emma Thompson, do you know who that is? She's a really cool woman and she's got a really, really, like our kind of attitude about life. Just a really cool woman. I don't know her, but I've read a lot of articles about her. Well, she tried to stop a waiter from being fired. So Emma was out with her celebrity friends and they were at some fancy hotel in London. And you could tell by the front, it's fancy and it's hotelish. Anyway, yeah, there you go. When you see all those flags, that's when you know. I only know one place that has all those flags outside here in New York, and that's the Norma Kamali store. She's got four, and she changes them for the season. Anyway, hi, Norma. Um, so the waiter asked for a selfie, and Emma politely declined. And then somehow upper management found out, and the waiter was suspended, and it got to be a bigger deal than it was supposed to be. A reporter called Emma for a comment about this guy being suspended and she was horrified about what had happened. So Emma turned around, cause she's a cool woman. She called the restaurant herself and she said, please give him back his job. Well, no word yet on whether they would give him back his job or not. I can't believe that something like a stupid selfie got to be like a big hubbub. You know, if you're not gonna take a selfie with somebody then you politely decline, but low tones. You know, like, no thank you. And then you change waiters, by the way, okay. Be, okay. <laughs> and you know why, and you know why. Same waiter's gonna hock a loogie <laughs> in the middle of your baked potato and collard greens, stir it up, you won't even know the difference. <laughs> but that, but that, that's how I think. That's how I think. You and I aren't like that, allegedly. <laughs> but, but we know people who do that, right? Exactly. I, you know, I think it was really cool that she called the restaurant and, and said, you know, please give him back his job. No word on whether he got his job back. I mean, he was suspended, but other people were saying he was fired. Uh, in my Hot Topics meeting, they were saying he should have gotten a strict warning. In my meeting, in my head, I say, why does everybody even know about this? What are we talking about here? If you don't want to take a selfie, then you just say, no, thank you. And then either you stop ordering stuff or you change your waiter. And you don't get so, cause you know, now the waiter's all mad, she won't take a selfie. And then in our Hot Topics morning meeting, everyone but me, including you, Norman, uh -huh. said he should have gone outside to take a picture with her afterwards. But he's a senior staffer, like he's been working there for, you know, years. Like the maid from the Beverly Hills Hotel that I was talking to you about with uh, yesterday, if you watched, with, um, so, What's her name? Uh, with the dress, uh, Lady Gaga. I don't know, I'm distracted yeah, right now. Yeah, right? <laughs> no, because I know Lisa Ray is here. Uh-huh. And... <laughs> this girl, this Lisa Ray, right? She never disappoints with the shade of it all. <laughs> Pick a finger and she'll show you which one to take. <laughs> Norman, do you take pictures with celebrities? <laughs> um, wait, see, wait, wait, no, 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 no. I mean, here, 
Is there, there's a policy, I thought. <laughs> I mean, it's been 11 years, there's... but I, I seem to remember there's some sort of policy yeah. where nobody bothers anybody uh -huh. when they come here. It's supposed to be a safe space for celebrities, no selfies. It's not like a written policy, but you know, it's just kind of, you know, spoken here, you know, just unspoken. But I made an exception one time. <laughs> See, what happened was, um, uh, I like snuck upstairs for, Queen Kenya Moore, and I took a <laughs> selfie. <laughs> She's coming here, by the way. Right. She's, she she'll is. be here any moment. Right. Not today, but you know. Right. Yeah. I love her so much. And did anybody see you from the staff? No, it this? was like really <laughs> secret. I was like, it's like look you to looked the around, right, looked to the left, and like, hey, girl. And <laughs> oh my gosh, there it is. Right. <laughs> right. And she it's on my Instagram. She pleasant about it. Pleasant, so sweet. Now when she comes back, will you do the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> Who would you rather though, Mariah Carey or Kenya Moore? Mariah Carey, <laughs> darling. <laughs> this is a safe space, they call it? It's a safe space. Okay. <laughs> Um, there's a school in Wisconsin that's trying to help students have less stressful lunches. Now, as a parent, I have to say, and also as a grown woman who went through hell growing up, we are coddling these kids way too much. These kids are supposed to lead the country. They can't even lead themselves. You know what I'm saying? We give them trophy, trophies for swinging a bat, they miss the ball every time. Why are we rewarding that? You know, when you're stupid, you're stupid. Call it what it is. Stupid. So there's this school in Wisconsin. Okay, first of all, the school is kindergarten through 12th grade, which I find horrific. Like, if I'm in 12th grade, what do I want to see a little kindergartner walking around my halls for? All right, so you need to chop up the schools, like, like K through six, and then middle school or junior high, what they call it, is the, the, the seven through eight, and then high school is nine through 12. Also, all right, this school has assigned each student to a lunchroom seat so that no kid ends up alone. Well, this is what it's come to. To, to me, the lunchroom is the first place that you have your first battles, <laughs> right? The black kids sit over there. The gay kids have their corner. The cool girls cheerleaders sit over there. You know, then you have the in-between people. Like for me, I wasn't at the black people table because the black people called me white girl, so they sat over there. So I'm over here with my friend Liz and Diane. Liz, so Hi, hi, Liz, um, and Diane Van Note, and um, Diane Sinnott, and you know, like, like we would sit and we would have our food and it was a nice place, but the point being is that you pick your own tables. And if by chance your kid is so much of an outsider, then they need to learn how to integrate with everyone else, like find friends or, or, Sit at the table by yourself and review your math because you got a quiz right after lunch. Suzanne, yeah. how'd you sit? I sat with my best friends, Dawn, Monique, Billy, Gina, Tracy, were you, Kim. No, no, were you popular? Were you um, a cheerleader? I was not a cheerleader, no. But I'm saying were yes, you- Yes, I played soccer, I ran track. We all sat together. And we they were athletes football. also? Yep. Oh, all, see, yep. the athletes exactly. sit together. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Norman? Who'd you sit with, the Rainbow uh, Show? It's the Rainbow Tribe, <laughs> yep. What? No, I- I guessed it? Yeah, they would call us the Rainbow Tribe because it was like black and white. I had a Filipino friend, a Puerto Rican friend, and it was like, oh. Yeah, we integrated. But were they rainbowish? <laughs> Some of them, yep. Eventually? Uh-huh. See? <laughs> right, you find so you, did, you didn't sit at the black table? <laughs> um, I would have liked to, but you know, all my friends were, you know, all over. How you doing? Oh, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, 
I feel like I feel like um, kids are being too coddled too much, and we we um, don't let them tough it out. You know, because they're leading the world after we're gone, and what kind of leaders are we gonna have? You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't, you know. On another note, I did shed a tear when I found out that John Witherspoon passed away. Like, I mean, I didn't know him, know him, but he'd been on my radio show, bang, bang. You know, he'd been here on the TV show. We didn't hear that he was sick. He died suddenly. He was the pops on the weigh-ins show. So many good movies. Mm. He was in Boomerang. Okay, I'll take it just because I like to show this. But um, I don't want to mess up my makeup, so I'll stick with the Look, he was in Fridays and Boomerangs, and you know, he was only 77 years old, and we never saw him sickly. He was with it, and, and just like that guy. So shout out to his wife and his two sons and the rest of his family and friends. Rest in peace, John Witherspoon. Bang, bang! We got more great show for you, everybody. Up next, a real life hot topic. The girl who gives it up, Lisa Ray McCoy is here. So grab a snack and come on.